Hello all, in this video tutorial I will show you how to move the SCOM 2000 server R2 data warehouse to a new server. This is made through some easy steps. First, you need to go on the RMS server and stop the uh, SCOM uh, services. They are System Center Data Access, System Center Manager Configuration, System Center Management. After you have successfully stopped these services, you will need to go on the SQL server from where the data warehouse will be transferred. Here you will start the SQL server management studio and do a backup of the data warehouse database. This is made easily through the SQL Server Management Studio wizards. You can create a folder on your disk drive where you can backup the data warehouse. After the data warehouse backup is finished, it will take depending on the database size more or less time. You will need to do a backup also of the master database. This is done also through the System Center Management Studio Console. You can backup the master database in the same folder where you backup the data warehouse database. After you have successfully done these two backups, you will need to go on the new SQL server where you will have to restore the data warehouse database. But first, you will need to install the data warehouse from the SCOM 2007 R2 setup. This is done very easily following the wizard of the installation. I explained this in a previous tutorial that it's also on the internet. After the installation is finished, you will need to go to SQL Server Management Studio. Here you will need to delete the Operation Data Warehouse database that was installed. And you will need to do a restore of the database that you already backed up previously from the old SQL server from where you want to migrate the database. For this, you'll need to go to restore database Here you need to select from where you need to do the restore. You can tell from a file. But first, like you see, you need to copy the file locally.
after copying the files to the local drives you can select the restore you can you need to tell him the name of the file here we will ask which database you need to restore from that file you need to tell him where to restore the database you will have to precise the same name like the database that was installed on this server after some time depending on the size of the data warehouse the data warehouse will be restored and you can check the security of this database to be the same one with the database of operation manager data warehouse that was on the previous server that you had next you need to go to the rms server go to services and start system center data access service after it is successfully started go to your reporting server open an internet web page Go to the SQL Server Reporting Services that is located in local hosts reports. Now go to Show Details and at the Data Warehouse Main, you need to check the location of the data source for the reporting services work change it with the name of the new SQL server that you installed and where you restore the data warehouse now you need to do some other configuration also go to the registry and you will need to change your registry key also with the name of the, the new SQL server that you installed the registry key is data warehouse db instance change it with the new SQL server name You will need also to do some reconfiguring of the operation manager database that admit it's on the same server like the old SQL databases for the data warehouse and the reporting server. And now in the SQL server management studio, you need to do also some new links to this data warehouse this value is located in operation manager database under tables the table name is odb.mt underscore data warehouse here you will need to change the name of the field main database source with the new SQL server that has the data warehouse after you have done this you can check it twice to be sure you need to go to the new SQL server that you installed and change also some fields in the restored 
operation manager data warehouse database with the name of the new server that has this database this is under tables the table name is odb member database and here you have to edit the field that it's name server name now you can start the rest of the services for the scom server from the rms server after you have done this you can try to open the scom console and do some tests You can check if the reporting is working. Try to generate a report for the data warehouse. If the report is generated then you know that the reporting services is working correctly. Also you can check the health status of the RMS server. Check if all it's green. Then you can check also the event log for some events that tells you that all it's okay with the connectivity to the data warehouse you can make a filter for these events to see it more clearly these are 31570, 31558, and 31554. Also, a final check you can check the performance data source model events collection that is located in Operation Manager, Health Service Module Events. If here you don't see any errors, then your SCOM migration of the data warehouse was successful. For future questions, you can find me on my personal website. If you like this, please give me a feedback. Have a nice day.